Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn Igorsky method of exercises for neck pain. In neck pain, there are three exercises: static fall, static back, and sitting floor. Our first exercise is static back. Subject will be in supine lying position with both the legs bent at right angle on a block. Both the hands will be at the side, palms facing upwards. Diaphragmatic breathing should be incorporated in this position. Duration of hold will be 5 minutes. Second exercise is static wall. Subject will be in supine lying position with both the legs straight up against the wall. Instructions given to the subjects are tighten your thighs, flex your feet and toes back towards the floor. Get your buttocks and hamstrings as close to the wall as you can. Smaller the gap, better the position. This exercise concentrates on relaxing the upper body. Duration of hold will be 5 minutes. Next exercise is sitting floor. Subject will be in long sitting position with back supported with legs straight out. Instruction given will be squeeze your shoulder blades together and hold. Do not elevate your shoulders. Tighten the thighs and flex the feet so that toes are pointing back towards you. Keep your arms at your side. Concentrate on keeping both feet pulled back evenly. Duration of hold will be 5 minutes. Then moving ahead with the ghost method of exercises for low back pain. Abductor press, pelvic tilt, air bench, overhead extension and upper spinal braces. Next exercise is pelvic tilt. Subject is in supine position with the back flat on the floor and knees bent. Ask the subject to flatten the back against the floor by tightening abdominal muscles and bending pelvis up slightly. Hold the position for 10 seconds. Repeat it for 5 times. Next exercise is overhead extension. The subject stands with feet straight and hips apart. Instruct the subject to interlock fingers, rolling the palms toward the ceiling, extending the arms overhead with elbows straight. Hold for 10 seconds. Repeat for 5 times. Next exercise is adductor press. The subject is in supine position with both knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Place a pillow between both knees and rest your arms down by your sides with your palms facing down. Instruct the subject to gently press the thighs towards each other, squeezing the pillow. Position should be held for 10 seconds, followed by relaxation without letting the pillow drop. Repeat this for five times. Next exercise is air bench. Subject will be standing against the wall with back flat on the wall. Instruct the subject to press hips and back into the wall while sliding down. Walk with feet forward in order to go into a sitting position. Subject should stop when reaches roughly 90 degrees angle. Knee should be over the ankle and not the toes. Hold this position for 1 to 3 minutes according to the comfortness. Next exercise is upper spinal twist. The subject has to lie on side with their knees bent to form a right angle. Both arms should be along the floor level with the shoulders extended and the elbows straight with the palms together and parallel with the bent legs. Upper arm should be lifted up and over to rest behind on the floor, palm up while turning head to face the ceiling. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat the exercise for 5 times. The next exercise is supine groin progression. The subject is in supine lying position with both knees bent. One leg is lifted and kept on the block while other leg will be on the floor. Hold this position for 10 seconds. Progression of this exercise can be done on a chair. Next 